As you know, we are now in hurricane season. It began Thursday in the Atlantic and weather experts have mixed predictions about how severe it will be. For those living in coastal areas still trying to recover from last year's season, any storm of any size is not welcome. Laura Aguirre has more on what's on the radar for this year. NOAA is predicting a near normal 2023 Atlantic hurricane season. Near normal, which depending on where you live, may have a very different meaning. There's nothing good about a near normal hurricane season in terms of activity. We're expecting a busy season. Busy indeed. Forecasters predict up to 17 named tropical storms could develop. Of those, five to nine could become hurricanes, and possibly four of those could become major hurricanes, Cat 3 or higher, with sustained winds of up to 129 miles per hour or stronger. That raises the prospects for significant impacts. On day one of the season, the National Hurricane Center is already tracking a potential tropical system in the Gulf of Mexico. They say it could develop into the season's first named storm. If that happens, it'll be Arlene, the name topping the list for 2023. In this case, the NHC says landfall is not expected. A major storm of any severity could be devastating for parts of Florida, where many are still trying to recover after the Category 4 Hurricane Ian hit last year. We're just hoping it, it doesn't happen again. Uh, it'd be really bad luck if it did, especially after we just opened up to the public again. Along with NOAA, the other major season forecast comes from Colorado State University. Researchers there say they expect a slightly below average season one that will last until November 30th. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting. There have been several instances where storms continued to form well after that date in November. In 2005, the same year Hurricane Katrina struck New Orleans, Hurricane Epsilon formed on November 29th, followed by tropical storm Zeta that formed December 30th. Weather experts say this season's activity will largely depend on two competing factors, El Nino, which inhibits storm development, and near record high ocean temperatures, which will help fuel hurricanes.